Greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for today's meditation. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Isaiah 9 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the garment will be upon his shoulder. And his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. Praise be to God. For God the Father has given His only begotten Son, Jesus, for us. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Yes, my friend, the greatest gift of all that we have received is we have received Jesus from God the Father. What a great blessing is it. Yes, my friend, today the greatest blessing we have got is we have got Jesus in our lives. And God the Father gave His one and only Son for us so that we would be redeemed and we would have a wonderful life. He loved us so much. He gave His Son the greatest gift of all. Today, before we celebrate this Christmas, tomorrow, we're going to celebrate Christmas. We are going to wear good new dresses. We are going to have cut good cakes and we are going to come to church, worship the Lord and we are going to celebrate Christmas before we celebrate this Christmas. Let me tell you, let us make it meaningful in all of our lives. Let us celebrate it for Jesus, for God the Father who loved us so much. Let us understand our gift that we have received. Sometimes we don't know what gift we have received. We don't know the value of it. We don't know the importance of it. Sometimes we don't know what it is exactly. And today, this morning, I'm going to help you understand what gift we have received? Who is the son? What kind of a gift we have received in our lives? Four verses I'm going to give you. Number one, Luke chapter 1 verse 32 and 33. It says like this, Luke chapter 1 verse 32 and 33. He will be great and will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. The son of the highest. The son who has been given to us is called the son of the highest. Yes. When we read in the book of Psalm chapter 91, all of those blessings that are given there, Yes, it applies to the one who comes to the shadow of the Almighty. For the one who dwells in the secret place of the Most High and who abide under the shadow of the Almighty, those blessings that are said in Psalm 91 applies. And today, let me tell you, that Most High God, yes, He is called the Son of the Most High. Today, we have received the greatest gift in our life. One more verse I would like to give you. Mark chapter 1 verse 10 and 11. Just know the importance of it. Mark chapter 1 verse 10 and 11. And immediately coming up from the water, he saw the heavens parting and the spirit descending upon him like a dove. Then a voice came from heaven. You are my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. He is not only the son of the most high. He is the beloved son. Wow. He is the beloved son of the father. Yes. God the father loved his son so much. The love was so, so intense. That every day, every minute and every hour. Jesus was speaking to his father. And he was glorifying his father. And he was talking about his father. What a beautiful relationship. But just to save you and me from the clutches of sin. Jesus bore all our sins on him on the cross of Calvary. And God the Father had to hide his face. He hid his face from Jesus. That's when Jesus cried out to his father. Father, Father, why have you forsaken me? Yes, he is a beloved son. Today, my friend, we have God a gift and that is we have got the beloved son as our master and savior our lord our friend our redeemer our shepherd yes he is a beloved son 
Number three, First John chapter three verse eight says like this: First John three eight, he who sins is of the devil, and for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Number three, he is the Son who is a delivering Son who will destroy the works of the devil. My friend, the thief comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. But Jesus said, I've come that they may have life and life in abundance. Yes, he is called the son who destroys the works of the devil. Today, we have got the greatest gift. What is bothering you today? What is worrying you today? What is scaring you today? Let me tell you, my brother, my sister, we have got a son, the son of God with us. He destroys the work of the devil. Yes, and he will give you a peace of mind and a good rest in your life. Not only that, finally, number four, John chapter eight, verse 35 and 36 says like this, and a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. Therefore, if the son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. He is the son who is a delivering son. So four things I've told you. He is the son of the most high, the dignified son. He is the beloved son, the dearest son. Number three, he is the son who destroys the work of the devil, destroying son. Number four, he is the son who sets us free, the delivering son. The dignified son, the dearest son, the destroying son and the delivering son. We have got the greatest gift in our life. Let's celebrate for what we have got in our life and let's praise him. May his name be glorified. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you for giving your one and only son for us. The greatest gift that we have got in our lives. Bless everyone to understand this gift. And Lord, let this Christmas be a meaningful Christmas for everyone. Let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.